This is much, much bigger than Roseanne's dumb racist tweet. This is about the normalization of racism across this country. This is about people who now feel free to say exactly the kind of thing Roseanne said. We've all known for a long time just how Roseanne feels. Back in 2013, she compared former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations and National Security Advisor Susan Rice to an ape in a tweet she later deleted. In 2009, for a photo shoot, she dressed up as Hitler and baked what she called little Jew cookies, claiming she was making fun of Hitler and not his victims. And let's not forget her take on the national anthem. This was 28 years ago. to criticize NFL players for peacefully taking a knee respectfully. Hmm. We all knew what we were getting and what Roseanne was like. ABC knew what they were getting, and yet they gave her a reboot of her show knowing full well who she is. And today, she showed us exactly who she is again. And now she's facing the consequences. And what about the hundreds of people who worked on her show, who didn't do anything wrong? They're out of work tonight, but there's someone else who never seems to face any consequences. Someone who has praised Roseanne and her show. Look at Roseanne. I called her yesterday. Look at her ratings. Look at her ratings. They were unbelievable. Over 18 million people. And it was about us. They haven't figured it out. The fake news hasn't quite figured it out yet. Hmm. Well, I think we've all figured it out. We've all figured it out. Nobody should be fooled by the White House refusal tonight to comment on Roseanne because we already know exactly what President Trump thinks. He began his political career with the racist lie that Barack Obama, the former president, was not born in this country. A lie he reportedly still clings to. On the day he announced his campaign, he said this. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. He made a Muslim ban, ban the centerpiece of his campaign. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. He responded to deadly white supremacist violence in Charlottesville by claiming there were, his words, very fine people on both sides. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group, excuse me, excuse me, I saw the same pictures as you did. He called African countries sending immigrants to this country, quote, shithole countries. The White House later trying to claim the president said shithouse, as if, that, as if that, that makes any difference. I could go on, but we only have so much time in this show, and we really want to discuss this. We know what Donald Trump thinks. We know what Roseanne Barr thinks. It's time for us to stop playing around with soft words, by saying, oh, uh, well, they, they're saying insensitive things. No, it's racist. They're exhibiting racist behavior. And far too many of our fellow American citizens agree with them and feel emboldened to say out loud the things that they wouldn't have dared to say in public just a few years ago. In an America where racism happens every day, in our neighborhoods, in our workplaces, in our schools, in a Starbucks, in a park, in an Airbnb, what is America going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? When are we going to stop pretending 
that every incident, oh, this is just one incident. Oh, it's just one. There's just one. This is just one example. There keeps being one example after another, after another, after another, after another, after another. And we have to stop pretending that this president has nothing to do with it, that he's not emboldening racist and racism and giving them a platform and making it okay. We have to stop pretending that or we're going to destroy the moral fabric of this country.